Hello YouTube, this is our tutorials and in, the, in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a floating liquid text in Cinema 4D and Real Flow. And um, for this tutorial you'll need the plugin, uh, the Cinema 4D and Real Flow plugin which you can get for free on my website or you can uh, just look it up on YouTube and um, how to get it for free. So uh, once you have this plugin go go ahead and open up Cinema 4D and uh, go into MoGraph tab and uh, select Mo text which is basically text if you have been following my channel you'd know um, so uh, I'm not gonna actually edit anything on the text here other than um, I'm gonna delete the top pol two polygons or the top polygon um, of the text and that's gonna allow it to fill up by some emitter so um, yeah, let's you know, to do that. First of all, we're gonna have to make the te this text a editable object, and to do that, uh, click on Mo Text, just select it, and uh, hit C on the keyboard. Right click on it, and uh, click on Select Children, and hit C again. Then right click again, Select Children again, and right click again, and uh, click on Connect Objects and Delete. So now we have this text and keep in mind you cannot uh, edit it anymore so make sure to edit it before you uh, do this. So once you have done that uh, you want to delete the top polygons and to do that you have to select use polygon mode tool or I don't know if it's a tool but use polygon mode and that basically selects every individual polygon um, and you can do whatever you want with that polygon uh, after that. So select the top polygon of the text okay uh, and uh, do, uh, hit delete to delete it and I was actually wondering about the E it's not good that it has so many polygons because now we have to delete every one of them at the top so yeah I guess we're gonna have to do that um, and it's not gonna get, look really great but whatever just make sure you don't have these kind of letters that are gonna cause you trouble so yeah select hit delete select hit delete until you think you have enough polygons deleted okay that's uh, it's not too bad uh, but yeah now let's go on to the other ones this one select delete select delete and here at the top okay and yes yeah, so now we are ready to export this text to real flow and to do that, go to plugins, real flow, real flow, SD, exporter, and uh, select where you want to export it by clicking on this button with three dots and going to wherever you want to export it. In this case, I want to export it to desktop, so I'm going to select desktop, name it um, invisible, no, actually, floating, floating text liquid okay and hit save once you're ready and um, select the mode text and click add uh, to add it to you know to export it objects menu here and click on export okay now I'm just gonna just in case save this file right here uh, go to file save as uh, and I'm gonna save to desktop backup that's what I'm gonna name it back up okay and save and now you wanna open up real flow okay uh, create a new project let's name it uh, floating lake with text okay and uh, you wanna select the file path where you wanna save it and you wanna make sure that you remember where you saved it to because you're gonna need that later and then once you're ready create uh, click on create a new project okay and at the top go to import object in this case I saved it to desktop uh, find it and click on it floating text liquid SD make sure it's the SD file that's what you're looking for and click on open so now you have this text in here now you're gonna have to create uh, 
create emitters for every single text or every single letter and um, yeah and that's actually something that I don't like about real flow that you have to create uh, you can't just copy and paste the uh, emitters so let's go ahead and not waste time and uh, create well first of all we'll need gravity so go to this red uh, button here with the three arrows I don't know what it's what is it called uh, show demon menu that's what it is demon <laughs> sounds like demon but it's actually d-a-m-o-n uh, and yeah once you clicked on it click on gravity so now you have that uh, liquid being pulled down okay and now let's uh, <coughs> let's click on show particle fluid menu right here and uh, let's select the let's see let's select this uh, square okay and let's uh, let's select it and hit R on the keyboard and resize it okay and let's make it just a little bit smaller like so narrower too so that it fits into the text okay and now let's uh, let's hit W on the keyboard and position it inside of the text so that it fills it up and to move around you hit you uh, click on alt or I mean you hold alt on the keyboard and uh, left click and drag okay and let, as you can see it's not in position here it's way off so drag it up and to the side once yeah until it's in position okay that's good now we wanna change the node parameters so resolution um, change that to uh, let's see what resolution does resolution and it's not showing anything resolution I think it's the quality of it so I'm just gonna put it to 4 no actually to 3 okay and um, what else what else can we change viscosity I'm gonna put it to 1 okay and yeah that's good um so I put it I put the viscosity to 1 so it's more like water uh, as compared to honey so the higher viscosity you have it's gonna be more like honey or oil and the less it's gonna be like water okay so uh, now uh, the last part to create in the emitter is uh, if you go to the square um, tab and in that tab is gonna be speed option and in the speed option uh, that's the tricky part that's where we're gonna have to figure out how long do we have to keep the emitter so that it fills up uh, fills the text up so what we can do is let's just increase the speed to uh, maybe six okay and let's go to frame uh, I don't know like to 23 24 and uh, right click on speed and click on add key and then go to frame 25 and uh, change the speed to 0 and right click on speed right here and add key so that you have so now you have it uh, emitting at 6 and then it um, goes to 0 so it's not emitting anymore and now we can click simulate to see what happens and I once it's done simulating I'll be back okay um so um, I just simulated and I've, I look at it and I see a problem here that uh, when when it's emitting it's actually going way too fast and that's a problem because as you can see it kind of splashes it out of out of the text and we lose lots of that one uh, that liquid that we want uh, to keep there and that's not really good uh, so we wanna bump down the speed so I'm gonna click on reset so that it deletes that simulation yes reset 
and uh, select the emitter and uh, go to speed and change that to yeah we're gonna have to put it to 2 speed 2 and if you go to uh, frame 24 where we put a keyframe for the speed I'm gonna change the speed to 2 and right click and click on add key okay now if we render this again I don't think it'll splash as much anymore it still does splash a little bit but not as much oh and now we have another problem is that it's not gonna fill up all the way so to make it fill up all the way again we're gonna reset this um, to make it fill up all the way we want we want it to uh, keep on filling up and I'm actually gonna decrease the speed even more so go back to frame 24 and um, uh, change the speed to 1.5 let's see if that works yes 1.5 and um, go to uh, frame uh, I don't know 40 maybe 44 go to frame 44 and change it actually no never mind go to frame 25 and um, change the speed to 1.5 and right click on speed and click on add key and then go to frame 44 again and uh, uh, change no actually no keep the speed the same right click on speed click on add key and go to frame 45 and uh, right click on actually no change the speed to zero and then right click on speed and click on add key and now let's go to frame zero and hit simulate again and see what happens and I'm gonna be back once it's done okay so it's, now it's not as bad uh, but it's, it still kinda spills out a little bit but it's not as bad so I think that's I mean it's yeah it's not too bad uh, I think yeah I'm gonna keep that uh, kinda setting and not change anything and uh, so you basically do that for all the other texts so you create the um, the emitter and you can watch this part again uh, just to see how to do this again and you know create more emitters but I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna uh, you know I'm gonna stop creating these emitters because it's gonna take a long time for me to create meshes and I don't want it to take a long time so I'm just gonna keep this one text as an example okay and now we can uh, go to the mesh building part and uh, <clears throat> to do that uh, go to show mesh menu and click on particle mesh render kit and make sure you have the emitter which is the square zero one in this case make sure you have that selected when you select the particle mesh render kit so that it adds to the pa particle mesh render kit if if it does not automatically add to the particle mesh render kit then you right click and you click on insert all emitters so yeah um, now we are ready to um, we are ready to create meshes and uh, I'm actually gonna click on reset so that it resets the simulation and that's gonna it's just it's better to build meshes and simulate at the same time than to simulate and then build meshes because it usually crashes less in that case uh, but yeah just now click simulate or actually no uh, let's change the particle mesh render kit uh, options so polygon size um, in particle mesh render kit if you select it there in node parameters uh, there's uh, options and polygon size let's change that to uh, 0 0.03 and that's gonna make a better quality liquid and smooth you can change that if you want filters yes uh, tension let's put it to 0.5 point uh, two actually okay and steps let's put it to two all right and now let's uh, hit simulate and we're ready to make meshes to build meshes okay and uh, yeah I'll be back once it's done 
Okay, so now we've got this letter T filled up and you can do you can fill up all the rest of the letters if you wish and uh, I stopped the simulation at 85 frames because I don't want to go any further you can go further depending on how long do you want your intro to be so now I am ready to uh, to export or import this mesh into Sema 4G and to do that well first of all let's save this project file in Railflow so save uh, project and we can add exit out of it go back into Sema 4D and uh, go to plugins real flow and select real flow uh, mesh importer and um, in the file path right here um, click on the button with the three dots and um, go to where you saved your real flow project in this case it's computer C users or tutorials scenes and I saved it to floating liquid text that's what the project is called and once you open up that uh, there's gonna be a meshes um, folder open up that and select uh, frame frame 2 alright and now if we play this as you can see it fills up okay so <clears throat> so it worked but now we have to uh, we have to delete the mode text right here the actual text object okay so now as you can see I only rendered I only simulated up to frame 85 so it disappears after that but you can simulate for longer if you want to so as you can see here it fills up it kinda spills over which is actually kinda cool and then you have the letter T which is kinda rugged it's not very uh, straight but you know it's that's as good as you can do if you um, change the if you play around with the settings of the liquid sometimes it's better sometimes it's worse uh, so yeah that's that's pretty much it now you can just put any kind of texture you like on it um, this tutorial is getting too long now so I'm not gonna do that so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was uh, useful to you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like. Um, yeah, and see you guys later.